Exploring the phrase, not to be uttered in English. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, not to be uttered. Understanding such phrases is key to mastering English, and we're here to break it down for you. Let's dive into the nuances of this phrase and see how it's used in different contexts. The phrase, not to be uttered, means something that should not be spoken aloud or mentioned. It's often used to indicate that a topic is taboo, sensitive, or secretive. The phrase has a strong connotation, suggesting that even mentioning the subject could be harmful or inappropriate. While the exact origins of this phrase are unclear, it has been a part of English language for a long time. It's often found in literature and formal speech to emphasize the seriousness or sensitivity of a topic. In everyday use, it might appear in conversations where people discuss topics that are considered private or controversial. To better understand how to use, not to be uttered, let's look at some examples. 1. The details of the incident were considered not to be uttered in polite company. 2. There are some truths that are not to be uttered, for they bring only pain and conflict. 3. In that culture, certain topics are not to be uttered in public discussions. A common mistake learners make is using this phrase in a casual context where it's not suitable. Remember, it's a formal phrase and implies a high level of seriousness or secrecy. It's not typically used in everyday, casual conversations. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, not to be uttered, and how you can use it in your English conversations and writing. Remember, learning such phrases enriches your language skills and helps you express yourself more vividly. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing!